Uh, yeah, my first love for in sports was American football, but I fell in love with boxing in second grade, and uh, ever since then I've never I haven't stopped. So this is where it ha it's taken me now. Vito, we have to be we have to be honest because I read many reports. One of them was your own words saying, when you were seven, it wasn't the love on the first sight. Let's call it it was boxing. How, yeah. how it how it happened? Uh, I hated boxing the first. Two there days. we have it. Yeah, I hated boxing the first two days, but I don't think it was the sport. I think it was the trainers that were at the gym. Why? Just I wasn't used to people screaming in my face in a different environment, and I got comfortable with being there, and I made myself comfortable when I was uncomfortable, and I think that's what uh, has led me to get to where I am now. So the mental part of boxing you understood very quickly, or this this was something which you what you knew from the beginning. The, not everything goes your way. You have, yeah. you have to just block it and yeah. just do it, you think. Yeah, well, not everything is going to go perfect in life, but just in boxing in general. Uh, nothing is going to come easy. You have to work for it, and you have to be dedicated to your craft. Uh, you have to go into the gym day in and day out, 24-7, and just keep working. The moment you said, OK, I like football, but boxing is, is my future. Yeah. Um, I'd say probably in like seventh grade, it was uh, that was my last year playing football, and that's when I decided to fully focus on boxing. And I think that's the best decision I've made in my life so far. So far, you are 17. There is many big decisions in yeah, front of you, definitely. and most most definitely. Uh, right now, you are kind of weird interest. You are 17 year old. When you fought for the first time, it was in Prudential Center, yeah. am I right? Yeah, Prudential Center. In Prudential Center, it was more about you being 17, not you as a as, as a, a potential fighter. great fighter. Yeah. You okay with that? I'm not, I mean, people could think what they want of a 17 year old, but uh, I'm not a typical 17 year old. I could fight and they could think it's just because my age that I'm getting this much publicity, but I think it's because my skill and what I'm capable of doing in the ring. Uh, every interview you ever gave, yeah. you, you're praising your family, yeah. saying, this is the reason where I am, why I make this decision. Yeah. Explain how how the support yeah. happened. Uh, I just think without my family, I probably wouldn't be where and I am. And your dad is here, but I'm not yeah, sure he's listening. Dad, yeah, <laughs> yeah, my mom and dad are here, but without them, I wouldn't be to where I am today. They uh, put me in positions that'll get me to where I am now and to get me to be great. So without them, none, none of this would be possible. 17 year olds are about maybe video games, they're girls, they're yeah. friends, there's yeah. other stuff. You can, you really can, gonna tell me that there's nothing like that going through your mind because there is also school. We have yeah, to touch time, that. There's time for teenage stuff. Like obviously um, me and my team, we give me I have time off after fights, and I have time to enjoy myself and just be a teenager, but uh, my main focus is boxing, so I'm a professional, and I go in there and put my life on the line, so it's not a joke. So you understand You you understand that this is boxing. Yeah. You, you, you play tennis. You, you can play tennis. Yeah, you yeah. can play any game you want, but yeah. fight nothing. No, fight. If you're fighting, you have to go in there fully prepared and fully dedicated to the sport. Your dad knows boxing. Yeah. He knows the dangers coming with it. Yeah. If you can tell me about the conversation it was between your mom and your dad about, okay, from now on, Vito is gonna be in a ring when anything can happen, where anything yeah. can happen. Um, well, obviously <laughs> my mom's gonna be my mom. She's always gonna be emotional whenever I'm in the ring. My dad, nervous wreck as well. <laughs> before my fights, but they they both know what I'm capable of doing, and that's why they allow me to go into the ring and fight. For me, I mean, I saw you a couple of times. This is our first longer interview. Yeah. You are opposite of of uh, of being nervous. Are you are you always this way? Uh, and you go into the ring also the same calm demeanor, maybe I inside try, but outside? I try to be calm. I try to be cool, calm, and collected. So I, I think when you do things that way, you get better results, but obviously nerves. You're gonna have nerves, but I think those nerves can help you. So you can you can use this you can this use energy 
in positive in yeah, positive yeah, way. I had the, when before the interview I had the conversation with with your manager Anthony Catanzaro yeah. talking about what happened next for you. You are welterweight, yeah. fantastic division. We have no idea. You have no idea yeah. how tall you will be, yeah. how your body is going to grow up mm -hmm. in the next couple of years. You can be I don't know six three. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, I mean, I mean you I thinking about it or now it's a welterweight. Well, for right now, I'm worried about being a welterweight, but I don't think I'm going to be here for long. Uh, if I could get to 6'3", that would be, I would love to be 6'3". <laughs> and welterweight. Yeah, and welterweight, but I don't think that, I don't know. I can't really say what's going to happen in the future. Uh, there is Polish flag, there is uh, Italian flag, yeah. and of course the American flag yeah. with everything what you have. Uh, social media. Mm -hmm. Explain those three connections. Um, Polish. My dad's my dad's dad is Polish. Uh, that's where I get my Polish ethnicity from, nationality from. Italian. My mom. My mom's whole side is Italian. So and American, obviously. But those are my three nationalities. And uh, eventually, I would actually love to fight in Poland because I know they they uh, Polish comes out Crazy. to support. Yeah. It would be a great experience. Adam Kovnatsky is coming to cheer for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he's coming tomorrow. We are taping this interview yeah. on Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> you know sport, Adam? This, yeah, me and Adam met. We talk on uh, social media a little bit. And uh, he's a great guy, great supporter. If you can just like, what's your opinion? Which character trait you got from your mom? Which one from your dad? Uh, I believe my hardworking trait is from my dad. Probably my calm trait from my mom. mom. My mom is real laid back and just calm in certain situations. My dad is just very hardworking, gets up, goes to work every day uh, to support me, my two sisters, my brother, and my mom. So I think those are the traits that I get from them. And I am in this, I am in this business for almost 30 years, and I think so. This is one of the most underappreciated part. People don't know about it. Yeah. They see. Vita Melnitsky on the ring in MGM, they are thinking, you know, uh, paper box full of, of, of hundred thousand, yeah. hundred dollars. Yeah. It's, it's not like that. No, it's not like that. Um, you got to make your way up to that. But for right now, no, it's not like that. It's <laughs> going to keep working until I get to that point. What we can wish you? All the fans you have in every possible community right now. Um, just keep supporting me. and. Uh, there, there's going to be fireworks on Saturday night. I can guarantee you that. Hopefully get my opponent out of there before the four rounds. And uh, just look, keep a lookout for me because I'm on the come up. Thank you very much. Thank you. Vito Thank